Hey everybody, got another video here for you. Um, this is going to be for all the, the hardcore types out there. This is going to be a guitar building video. And to make, to make folks happy, I actually dropped a couple bucks on some gear for the quote unquote channel. I know I keep saying I'm try not trying to run a channel here, and I'm really not. But, um, but in the interests of like, you know, trying to improve things in general, I dropped 20 bucks and I got a, a stand for the, for the camera here, so, for the phone. So now we can actually film some action. Because I know there's folks, I like, I like watching guitar building videos. I'm running through TGBO uh, final edits at the moment while I work on guitars here. So, um, so anyway, yeah, this is going to be a, a working on guitars video, guitar building video, more or less. There's uh, actually a fair amount of stuff going on. This is the Fender 12 here, and the strings for it, new strings for it finally came in, so I can finish stringing it up and get on with the, with the build. This is version, I don't know, I'm guessing three or four of this guitar. It got a, let's see, what did we get here? We got my controls working here we got a new pine body for it and uh, what else did it get and, this, and it was converted to a single swing bar yeah yeah so new new pine body and a single swing bar here and um, and it's just now getting strung up Finally, now that I have some strings for it once again, and uh, then let's see what's left. Adjusting the neck alignment, checking the action. Um, I suspect the action is going to be acceptable for a 12 string. This is actually this is a 1969 Fender 12 string acoustic neck. It's uh, the neck off of the first guitar that I ever purchased, and uh, it's got the original date stamp on the back of the neck too, so that's cool. As many times as it's been refinished, I've always preserved the date stamp, so. And uh, yeah, so let's see, it's going to be getting, uh, uh, finished stringing it up, i got one string left to go, and uh, neck alignment. Let's just loosen up the screws and get it straight and tighten them back up again. Um, bridge height and, and the, this stuff is all correct height. Check the action here. I think that's going to be okay. Uh, double check the intonation. This probably is going to be okay. This is dimensionally. Basically, this whole guitar already existed and was taken apart and was disassembled and the body was replaced and it was put back together and the twin V bars that it used to have were replaced by a single swing bar and it was converted from locking tuners to lightweight tuners and that's what's going on with this build here and it's I mean it's all ready to go it's got you know all the electronics are done and stuff so so yeah, it's all ready to go, and it's going to be nice when it's done. Because, like I said in the video for the previous version, every time I get this thing up and running again, it's cool because I I get to play it, and then it's like it's like running into an old friend again. Because I've had this guitar now since uh, 1988, or this neck since 1988, and it's on. Yeah, let's see. Originally, it was. A, it was a 12 string acoustic and then I built it into uh, essentially this but but um but with uh, plywood body and with the V bars and stuff like that so this is going to be more or less I guess the third version of this guitar so we'll see how it goes I'm not gonna you know as as usual I'm keep saying I'm not trying to start a YouTube channel here so I'm not going to be 
putting this into video editing software or anything more than just converting it down to low res in order to cut on the bandwidth for the upload because I don't want to I don't want to spend bandwidth on on uploading videos I already spend too much of it on downloading videos so so yeah let me uh let me shut up here and get to work a little bit but like I said there's lots of stuff going on uh, the strings came in for this the battery came in for the robo tuner I ordered uh, a bridge and a lock nut and and a correct Gibson jack plate for the uh, flying V build. The uh, let's see over here, this one right here. I can do this. Oops. Uh, let's see the scarab. There's the scarab right there, and I need to uh, make another body for it. But I've got all the parts and everything, so nothing's stopping me there. And right behind it, slash below it, that's the stain. That's the black stain strap there, and that thing's all ready to go pretty much. So work can progress forward on that as well. Am I doing this right? There we go. There we go. Eventually I'll become a competent cameraman here. So, uh, so yeah, that's what's going on. And um, let me uh, let me get to work. Okay, here we go. Get this thing up in here. pretty good. So we got a string. Get it in the saddle. It's going to be going through these guide pins right here. And then into this puppy. Yeah, I already tried to do this once, but apparently when I was installing this tuner, I got sloppy with the super glue. They've got a dot of super glue on the back to help hold things together. And uh, and I got sloppy and apparently the glue seeped enough that it actually glued the tuner so it wouldn't turn. And I had to put a different one on. Uh, that's where I'm at now. So this already has a kink in the wire. Why won't this thing go through? This already has a kink in the wire. But it also doesn't want to go through. And I'm having to share my bench with the kitten because he just insists on being here. So... What on earth? There we go. There we go. Must not be a very cleanly drilled hole. Okay. So that's that end. Get this end back together. Everything's up there. And through there. And we're going to pull it back a bit. Come here, string. And we pull it back like a Fretsworth. A little over an inch, maybe. Bend it off. And time to start cranking. Towards me. Get up there. Behave yourself. Under, not over. Now oh, you're getting 
tangled up in the pin. That's right. There we go. Okay. Uh, gotcha. Here it comes. Okay, it's in the saddle. Get it out from, get my fingers out from under it. Get it around the guide pin. There it is. Keep the tension on it. Finish cranking it up. And as I crank it up, it tries to push my thumb up. And I gently let it because I don't want to overstretch it. And there we go. Number 12. 12 of 12. Okay. They're not to full tension, but they are good enough to see what's going on. And what we see is that this thing definitely needs some neck alignment. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say so. This thing needs a little bit of neck alignment, so. Okay, gonna need to. Get on to this thing right here. And swing the bar out of the way. And then get on to a screwdriver. Loosen this up so that we can do the wiggle thing. <laughs> 